You guys are absolutely loving the part one of this video, and I thank you so much for watching. So part one of Battle of the Las Vegas Buffets was really rushed, and there's a reason for that. Once we got to the restaurants, actually both restaurants, Back and Out and Wicked Spoon, we had our equipment set up, tripod ready to go, camera was ready, and the manager stopped by the table. He said, oh, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be filming here. Uh, I need to kick you out. So I had to do a little sweet talking, had to convince them we weren't going to post anything negative and everything was going to be good. So the whole time I was rushing through like crazy to get the most footage that I could possibly get and comment on before we were actually thrown out. Today, I wanna give you a deep dive into both the Bacchanal and the Wicked Spoon buffets. Make sure you stay to the very end of the video because I'm gonna give you some ninja buffet bonus tips as to how you can get the most out of your buffet. So you really wanna watch till the very end of the video. fried chicken. It's called Wicked Chicken. Look how cute that is. I was so excited to try this fried chicken in a basket, the Wicked Chicken, and it let me down so much. The fried chicken was dry inside. You can't have dry fried chicken. It was crispy, but it was so overdone. It was not moist and juicy inside like fried chicken should be. Yes, it was cute in the little basket, but that's really all it was. It was cute, wicked chicken. So sad, I was so disappointed. Apparently it's supposed to be really spicy, so here we go. Hmm. This is definitely very angry and very spicy. Okay, so that angry mac and cheese right there was mushy, it was orecchietti pasta, which should be al dente. I understand it's out in a buffet, it's probably not going to be as fresh as if you ordered on the spot, but you could tell this thing was under a heat lamp for a while. Okay, so when have you ever seen bone marrow on a buffet? This is bone marrow with kimchi. So I definitely give Wicked Spoon points for originality, for having bone marrow on their buffet, because I have never seen bone marrow on a buffet before except for Wicked Spoon. However, if you want a salty heart attack, then go for the bone marrow. It is just fat and salt. It was covered in a little bit of a kimchi sauce, which again was spicy. It did cut through a little bit of the fattiness, so it had a little bit of acidity to it. Not one of the things that I was raving about. However, I do give points for originality. It's a very original item to have on a buffet. I'm in dessert heaven right now, just giving this a little rotate. So you can see everything on this plate. The variety of desserts at Wicked Spoon, again, was very disappointing. Yes, I said I was in dessert heaven, but I had no idea what was in store for me at Bacchanal, so I kind of jumped the gun with my description there. The chocolate mousse was very tasty. It had a lot of depth of flavor. It was very chocolatey. I could tell there was a little bit of coffee in there as well. The Rice Krispie Treat is a total cop-out. I could make Rice Krispie Treats at home, I would say desserts were five, 5.5 5 out of 10, just okay. Next so we have this beautiful lamb chop. Oh my god, that's so good. This lamb chop was perfect in every single way. It was cooked just the way that I like it. It had a nice crust on the outside. It had a nice little balsamic glaze. It was spectacular. You should totally get this dish. Okay, dessert time, and these desserts do not disappoint. The desserts at Bacchanal are absolutely amazing. First of all, the variety is so great. You have everything from cakes, gelatos, to little individual tiramisus. So what I have on my plate was the chocolate dome, creamy white chocolate on the inside, kind of like a volcano of white chocolate. And then I had the tiramisu in the little chocolate cup that is actually edible. The amazing creme brulee that you just tap your spoon on top, you shatter that sugar glass is 
everything. So my stomach at this point hurt so bad, but I had to take I had to take one for the team. I had to just try everything so I can give an accurate depiction of what this buffet is like and the desserts are amazing. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. You've earned yourself some ninja bonus buffet tips. Ninja tip number one, if you're going to the Bacchanal buffet, try their brunch. It's a little bit cheaper than their actual dinner buffet. The brunch buffet is gonna run you about 30 bucks for an adult, and this is before 10 a.m. Now, if you get there around uh, 9.30, 9.45, you sneak in in that brunch price, you kind of get in there strategically, you can also try some menu items from the next tier. My second ninja tip is something that you should avoid. Caesars sells a buffet of buffets pass. Try and say that five times fast and it does not include the Bacchanal Buffet. So if you purchase this pass, just be aware that you're gonna to have to pay an extra 15 to $35 to get access to the Bacchanal Buffet. My third ninja tip for you for the Bacchanal Buffet is to use their texting service that they have located at the front of their kiosks. What you can do is go to one of these kiosks, put in your cell phone number, and they will send you a text message when your table is ready. This service is phenomenal because the lines at Bacchanal get to be so insane. It's like you're waiting for a ride at Disney World. That's how crazy these lines get. It's horrible on the weekends because everybody wants to go to the buffet on the weekend. So I highly recommend that you use the texting service. If you want to bypass the line, use the $20 bypass jump where you can get to the head of the line, get to your table. If you're really impatient, <laughs> then you can definitely use this bypass the line. So that's my third ninja tip and I hope you find it helpful. 32 comments and counting. Thank you so much for commenting on the video. Shout out to Yvonne who gave her suggestion that, yeah, back and I was okay, but I prefer Aria. See, these are the kinds of conversations we need to have. I need to know what you guys are thinking. And yes, I am gonna go and check out Aria. Shout out to John G who said M Resort was his favorite, not on the strip, but still worth a try. Again, John G, I will have to check it out and hopefully not get kicked out for having video equipment. One other shout out is to Howard Samuel who said he is hyped to go back to Vegas for his ninth time to go ahead and uh, get to the Bacchanal Buffet. He said he loves Caesars and he loves the Bacchanal. Hey, me too, Howard. Guess what? I am all about the Bacchanal. Thank you again for all of your comments. I love answering your comments. I love the interaction and keep it coming. Keep on commenting. If you totally disagree with me, I love to hear your opinion. I want to know what you think about these buffets because hey, I'm a foodie, you're a foodie, we love to eat food. I'm hoping that these videos kind of cut through the clutter and uh, help you make the best decision possible.